Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? It's so good to have you back, I am so happy to have all of you here. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you guys are feeling fantastic, I hope you guys are feeling good. So I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much to all of you who have donated to my channel. And if you guys are interested in donating, I do have my cash app below. I have my Indie Deck wishlist, I have my Amazon wishlist, and I have my PayPal. So my loves, I just want to say I love you, Leo, I love you, my Leos, my lions, my lionesses, you guys have been so generous, so loving with your love, with your, your gifts, your donations, you guys, seriously, I have no other way to express my deepest gratitude. I am so, so, so grateful. So let's go ahead and look into your May 15th love and general forecast, yeah? So let's go ahead and see what is going on here, my loves. Leo, for those of you who are new, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship-based readings. All that information is priced down below. So also, I am not doing video requests at this time. I am only taking on email, okay? Please check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I also do pay card readings as of now my loves I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on and I also offer complimentary healing sessions as well if you guys are interested okay we're just going to go ahead someone there's an energy here of people in your environment really really uh, really loving who you are maybe wanting what you have because I felt really encouraged to use that There's a lot of speaking. There's some gossip coming in, okay? Some of you guys have a lot of people talking about you. This is this is something that some of you guys are really rising. I'm having a vision here of you rising on top of a cloud. So this is about a rise of um, power, a rise of opportunity. There is a lot of gossip in your environment. I'm also having a vision of swords. So there's something becoming very true here for you. But also, when I think of swords, you guys, I also think about, I don't want to say betrayal, but I think about what is true. What is true. And I also think about swords for me is also about clarity of mind. But in my vision, I am seeing that a lot of you, this sword energy is being thrown at you. So people... At the end of the month, as we move into Gemini season, there's something about your energy people want to provoke. And the sword is more about wanting to cut through all of your work, wanting to kind of, it's almost like they want to hold you up in space. They don't want you to move. They don't want you to make moves in your life, okay? This is really hard, Leo, because a lot of you have abundance rolling in, but it's not about abundance. This is about you climbing a cloud. Something about climbing a cloud, you guys? What is that all about? A lot of you guys are going to be recognized for something. So this feels something creative for some of you. For others, this is about something that you're writing, okay? So Leo, we do have Express More Magic. Okay, listen, this is also going with the sword energy. What you speak comes into fruition. So be aware of what it is that you are speaking into existence because this is manifesting itself from the 5D into the 3D. Some of you guys might feel a little restless or negative about something. Your mind is really important here the way you it's like I'm having a vision your guides are really refocusing your mind to look at what is in front of you look at the future specifically the raven totem the raven is holding your head and it's fixing you forward in the direction of north so you can focus on forward movement because a lot of you I'm getting 
there's some pain around your root chakra, you guys are feeling unstable or you're asking yourself, what is going on? Where are my roots? Or you're trying to find a purpose in life. And whenever we are exploring what we're good at, we get a, you know, we get a little anxious if we're perfectionists. So here we have a movement of changes around speech. So how are you speaking a lot of your gifts into existence, right? How are you doing this? Right? This is about the manifestation of a positive environment as well, you guys. If you guys are overly negative or you're focused on something that is overly um, on the downward turn, that is where your energy is pouring in. What's happening for you? 15th, May 15th through the 30th, sweeten your approach. Exactly. There's something here that you're being harsh about. So what is that? It could be yourself. It could be that you're really tired, uh, you know, about something in your life and you, you're closing your heart a little bit. Some of you guys are feeling incredibly exhausted. You're feeling as if it's almost like you feel your sweetness is starting to, to remove itself from your life. This is why your guides, your, your animal guides are very present here. They're moving, they're moving your head in the right direction because the in energies around you, they're constantly pulling at you. This is because you are moving up. The clouds are symbolic of manifesting big dreams. The clouds are the kind of dreams that you never thought you'd be able to manifest. You're moving upward. You're making this happen for yourself. And the higher you go, like angels, right? The higher the angel flies, the more there are lower vibrating entities trying to pull it down. You guys are trying to rise and you're trying to heal your lineage and your ancestors are protecting you fiercely because everything is a battle right now. I don't know why. I'm getting a lot of like spiritual warfare here. Some of you guys, maybe... Um, there's someone in your environment who crossed the line with your ancestors, okay? And this person who crossed the line with your ancestors, they're, they're literally at war with this person's ancestors as well, and they're trying to take their whole lineage, okay? Because this is what your ancestors do, Leo. Whoever this is for, they are not going to have it. They are not going to have it. So what they're doing right now is because they have disgraced their own legacy, your ancestors have to go in and they're picking up their tools and they're saying, okay, well, what you got for our legacy because you're not doing this correct. You're not doing this fairly. You know, something I've noticed when we are at war, it is because our ancestors are at war. When we feel down or we feel pulled, it's because our spirit guides are fighting for our spirit. Our ancestors are fighting for our legacy and our healing. So this is where we start to feel like this. But this is where we're going to rise, okay? A lot of you guys, this might feel turbulent at first, but I want you to know this is happening to improve, Leo. This is where you are going to show yourself resilient because this is not about ego for you, my loves. This could be a, a you know, position as a manager. This could be that you are trying to rise. You're trying to you know, um, take your, your career to the next level and people are not believing in you or there's something that's being shut down here. So we have let love enter. You're gonna struggle with your heart. This is why it's so hard for you. You are so tired. Your heart, it feels wounded, okay? But what you do from your divine center is symbolic of what will manifest itself. And I don't know, you know, don't let negativity enter. I just have to say it. Don't let it enter because I did feel this battle is very much about um, fighting for what is right. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. speak the truth at all times. A lot of you are going to have a chance to speak your truth. A lot of you guys are going to have an opportunity to express your story. Okay. This could be through friendships, through a network, but in my vision, Leo, at the end of the month, you're going to be picking up, uh, it's like you're picking up stones that are very beautiful. They're all, it's like they glitter 
there's some that are gold and you're going to make a masterpiece from everything that you've been through you will not let anyone ruin your shine okay please take time to meditate you guys i'm getting some some restlessness around your spirit okay i'm getting some anxiety around your spirit so let's go ahead and see what is going on here Leo, May 15th through the 30th, what's happening? I am having a vision of a lot of water, like a tsunami, okay? Like you guys have had enough of something. There's something in your environment you've had enough of. It's like your emotions are like this. The tsunami is also about healing. It's also about uh, a moment of you're, you're going to create a wave with whatever it is that you're doing. This climbing the cloud is going to be symbolic because this is going to, it's like you're shaking up the earth with whatever it is that you're doing. And you're doing this from a place of you're done, you're maxed out. You're like, this is it. I'm done. I'm gonna, I, I just have to do this for myself. Um, it feels as if you are ready to completely shatter injustices, unfairness, you're going to allow yourself to be more in your power, okay? So we do have four of cups. Be aware of missing an opportunity because you feel it is not big enough, okay? Someone is going to offer you something. There's going to be an offer and you might need to meditate on it. Something about it is like, uh, do I want this? Right? Do I want this for myself? Is this really what I want? Um, sometimes the smallest gifts are the biggest ones and I've had to teach myself that. So be flexible. This is about just being flexible in your mentality, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Leo, May 15th through the 30th. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Listen, Leo, I'm so happy to see this. Your stress, the tsunami is very symbolic of cleansing what was once in your way. Your ancestors do not play. I need you to trust them, okay? The movement, I need you to trust the movement because you guys are like, when am I going to move? When am I going to do this? Why is this not moving for me? Listen, when your guides come together, they move mountains for you. And this is going to be a tsunami of justice. It's almost like the wave, right? It's like, it's a slow build, but once it reaches its, once nature has taken its course to teach us a lesson here on earth, we learn it. We learn it. You will not stress. There's an opportunity coming up. You may feel, uh, it may not be for me, but it's going to help you de-stress. Some, something about this is going to help you come out of your head, okay? Something you guys have been through so much, you guys, so much PTSD, anxiety, listen, and this moment is yours. Was that a um, moment for life? Nicki Minaj, Leo. May 15th through the 30th. This is why. There's something unfair happening here. Okay. And your, your whole spirit team is saying, that's it. That's it. We're not having it. Whatever, whatever is happening right now, your, your ancestors specifically are coming through strong with power. We're not having it. We're not going to do this. This is it. If people have been unfair to you and they're causing breakages or destroying your lineage and everything you've worked hard for, this is coming down. Right? This is coming down. And a big part of this is seeing something 
You have to see the light through the storm, right? You have to see the light through the storm. A lot of you guys, there's a, a wave. It's just a wave. You have to keep your eyes open under the water and see. Look at the sun and tread water. Learn how to tread water because this isn't going to last forever. This is about seeing clear through the turbulence. You know what the beauty is about this? A lot of you guys are going to, it's like you're, you're, you're navigating this, this whole journey through becoming more flexible. You're going to be more adaptable, more flexible in life. And this is going to teach you wisdom of the elders. Okay, so we have, what is the last for Leo? Um, 15th through the 30th. I do feel there's a growth. At the end of this, there's a growth of a tree. A lot of you guys, there is a growth of a tree with everything you've ever needed. And there's rest. There's going to be Knight of Cups. A lot of rest around here. You're going to just sit on wealth. You're going to sit on your fruition. You're going to sit on everything that you've established for yourself. And you're going to be okay. Okay? So if you're fighting for a promotion or you're fighting for something that is right for you here that you know in your heart... You know in your heart, you know who you are. This is going to work in your favor because it's almost like there are legalities or something about the legal system that's going against you or there's something about um, something is trying to go against you unfairly. So be aware of your karmic lessons as well. What you reap is what you sow. So if you're doing something you shouldn't, this is how it's going to manifest itself. Justice is very much like Mat, okay? The Egyptian goddess Mat. This is about weighing the scales, the heart and the feather. Where do you land? Right? Karma does not choose. It is what you serve the world that comes back to you. So this for me is about other people in your environment trying to create webs or they're trying to weave things in your life. So let's go ahead and see what's happening in Love, Leo. May 15th through the 30th. So we have the Three of Cups. Okay. There's going to be a... Oof. Please do not let anyone destroy your path. Okay? There's something heavy. And it feels like the, the last little bit. You're at the number nine. You're almost at the number ten for some of you. Okay? Take a deep breath. Meditate. Design. Structure. Get grounded. Three of Cups is about dating. Some of you guys... Um, have a revelation of truth someone has been in love with you for a really long time and they really want to come forward for others this is about a celebration of marriage a celebration of something very beautiful but something about you you really want to get back out there okay it's like you really want to get back out there and you really want to invest in your shine here so let's go ahead and see we have the two of wands in reverse. You're not looking. Some of you are just okay with dating or you're okay with friendships. You're not really looking. You're not looking um, to kind of further anything here. Uh, love for you is hard, Leo, right now because a lot of you guys are trying to lick wounds. Like you're, you're, you're in hiding, but for a purpose. You're trying to heal yourself. And when a lion is trying to heal themselves, they are feared. Because when Leos, lions, they are healing themselves, they come back stronger. This is what makes a pride. The hierarchy of strength. If you ever look at Leos, excuse me, at lions in the jungle, it's all about strength. Who has the most agility, the strategy, right? The power. This is what makes the pride for the female and the male. So this is big for you, Leo, in love. So a lot of you guys are working on yourselves. You're working on your inner strength. You're trying to battle maybe depression. Some of you guys are trying to battle something very big here. So Leo, in love. So we have a page of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys definitely have an offer coming in from a Gemini Libra Aquarius and you are declining or this person is declining but it's almost like you don't have the room for love right now there's a drop of the ball okay some of you guys are not interested it's like there's a lack of 
there's a lack of foundation here. Some of you guys are saying, I don't have the space for it. Or this person may not want to build uh, long term. But something about a friendship is developing here with this person. I am getting a lot of elegance, specifically around the 18th and the 20th, somewhere around there. They're going to put it, it almost looks like a Cartier necklace on you or a diamond necklace. They're very showy. This person likes to show off with their money, okay? So they are going to wine and dine. Let's see what else. Leo in love. Leo, some of you guys are so focused on your coin, honey. You're like um, bag by little Kim. You're like, I don't have time. Or you're so invested in your growth. A lot of you guys are like, hmm. Okay, it's okay. This person is going to really encourage you to open your heart. And I do feel um, what you don't know is they, they know how to track you through magic. This person is really, um, this air sign, they're really good with magic. Um, it's almost like they're possessive. They're putting something on you to claim you. So other people can see that they're yours while you work. Or they're going to want you to wear their necklace. They're going to ask you, please wear your necklace. Don't forget about me. Some of you guys are so focused on your pentacle girl. Okay, or boy, you're like, I don't have time for it. But they know it. So they're going to, they're, they're really going to do it up with the gift. They're really going to do it up with the gifts and they want you to wear it. This is all they're asking. Please wear what I gave you. It almost feels like an amulet. They want, they want to stay close to you. So something about this, okay? They're really going to invest a lot of money. I am getting for some of you, it's diamonds. Like, they're, they're really like... Tiffany's, you know? What's going on in love, Leo? A lot of you guys are, are starting to heal your sacral. There's something that feels was wounded there. Something... Um, from the past, you know, trigger warning, it could be abuse, it could be uh, something traumatic, you guys, you're healing it, but in my vision, there's like a dark energy around it, so be aware of your, your sacral, okay, heal your sacral um, before you are intimate with anyone, your person knows, it's something like they know, and they're going to come in very compassionate, and both of you guys are going to heal together, but Leo, you are like, I don't know what happened, my loves, you are exhausted, Okay, Leo in love. Fortune is on your side. You have you're gonna have a lot of people. A lot of people want to date you. A lot of people are gonna want to support you. They're gonna want to gift you things. You are the it factor. Okay, in love. You have an Aries coming in, a Leo Sag. I'm also having a vision of a Pisces or a Scorpio Cancer. You have a variety, but something about this air sign is really sticking out to me. Um, they're really going to capture your heart, which is why they want you to at least wear the necklace. Because for them, you know, they, they want to grow with you. They're serious about you, and this is how they're showing you. A lot of you, this is going to take time. This is destiny, okay? You're, you're learning how to remove a lot of the karmic ties, this is about bringing back the sun into your life, feeling more confident about uh, your power, your intimacy, okay? All right, my loves. I love you. Let's go ahead and see what the outcome is. What is the outcome? Leo, what is the outcome, Leo? May 15th through the 30th. Listen, a lot of you guys, I am getting calmer waters, okay? This is hard. Something about this feels really hard at the end of the month. You're going to be okay. Okay? Be aware of your left foot, you guys. The outcome is justice in reverse, Leo. Some of you guys, oh, you know someone in your environment who's going to do some kind of jail time or there's something unfair happening. But it could be in your favor as well. Maybe they have to kind of break the just. Maybe they have to break the laws a little bit for something to work in your favor. This is about someone in your environment. It could be either or. This could be legalities, anything that, you know, something unfair here. Ten of Swords in reverse. You're going to heal from some serious betrayal. I don't know. Oh, my God.
gosh, my loves. I don't like justice in reverse. So the outcome here is there is going to be a huge karmic lesson around something that maybe is unfair. One, that's unfair. Two, something that is going to maybe be a little bit under under the table but it's going to support you to heal so you're going to have to do something that's a little bit it's not the most fair okay but it's in honor of your healing process because it's kind of like that last sword on your back okay you're, you're done so i'm actually curious about this justice card for the outcome leo Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Is this about money, you guys? Some of you guys are going to have to go to jail. <laughs> or know somebody who's going to go to jail. Listen, I just said it like that. Excuse me for being so blunt. Oh, my gosh. Um, this isn't about necessarily jail time, okay? It could be someone in your environment that you know of. There's something about money that's on the line, okay? Some of you guys are going to have to leave something behind. It's like a very sudden shift or a call. There's something very fast here um, involving feeling left out in the cold, okay? This could also be a karmic lesson around abandonment or you know someone who is going to be in this position of law, of having to, you know, serve some kind of justice. So this is also about searching for a higher meaning where you're going to have to leave things behind and you're off into your own world. This is very intense. The outcome here, you guys are learning a lot about something that has happened that's unfair to you or unfair to someone else and it's going to weigh heavy. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of heaviness. It feels as if something wasn't served or it's not going to be served the right way and it's going to make you feel left out in the cold, but through that, you are going to learn how to really journey a very divine purpose. So take it as it resonates. This is deep. Either, either way, my loves, you're going to heal from it. I love you. Mwah.